Hey guys, Jules here. Got another video. I'm here in my mobile office, and um, I wanted to uh, share this this uh, very intense uh, message um, from the Lord. I want to give God all the glory. Thank you, Father God, for dreams and visions and words of knowledge. Thank you for warning us, Father God. I pray, Father, that you would have mercy on those that are not heeding your word or are not listening to your your warnings, Father. And I pray, Father, that they would turn your, their hearts to you, that they would repent, Father God. And I thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you bestow upon us. God, I pray that those that are listening to you, I pray that they would that you would guide them, Father. Give them more confirmations. Give them speak clearly to them, their hearts, Father. Open up their ears, Lord. Open up their dream wells, Lord. Open up their their visions, Father God. Give them words of knowledge, Lord. Give them guidance. And and just uh, I pray that the uh, the Holy Spirit would just pour out His oil upon them, Father. Thank you, Lord. In your name, I pray. Amen. So this this message is um, is. I, I named it, we're turning up the heat because that's what the Lord is telling me in this dream. He actually said, we're turning up the heat in judgment. And it, it's it's pretty intense. Um, so just want to get right to it. And um, it's just, uh, I, I just want to warn you also that um, if you have children, I would say under the age of maybe 15 or something like that, uh, 14, whatever, you might want to ask them, to leave the room, but you be the judge. You're the parent. You know best for your child. Um, hopefully that you're using God's word as a guide. So he starts off with, he says, Jules, tell him to buckle up because there is turbulence ahead. And this is from God and the Holy Spirit, the turbulence is. And he's saying, this is a warning of catastrophic event because of rebellion against God the bondage of the world, and the human-made altars. And he says, those in rebellion will come judgment, and they have lost my protection. They are spiritually unguarded. They are disgraced, and they are naked, and they are vulnerable. And those in rebellion will be raped. Will be raped. He said, they are a prideful people who are a demon oppressed and possessed and they have unclean homes and this speaks to their heart and also where they live their um, where you live the way you operate your home it says um, goes on to say a message to me in this next part let me just go on down here real quick um, and, the, and he says um, to you the believer you can be an overcomer and you can be filled with the Holy Spirit. And this is a heavenly place. And uh, and it's an abundance and overflow for you. It will overflow. And you will be operating in faith and spiritually strengthened and established by God. And he said, but you have to get your heart right. you got to communicate with God through your heart. Remember, heart, the heart controls the mind. The heart controls the mind. So if your mind is telling you, I don't want to do this, or I want to go down to the you know the, the burger place and eat a big old burger, or I want to go out and you know do some drugs, or I want to smoke this or smoke that, or take this or take that. That's your flesh. Your mind is your flesh is trying to control you. But if your heart is right with God, your heart is going to tell your mind what to do. This is how. See, this is double mindedness, right? If your heart is right with God. If your heart is in sync with God, because that's where you worship from, that's where you communicate with God from in your heart, then everything else, your whole body will fall into place. If you tell your heart, if your heart is right and your heart says, no, I know what I'm going to do. My heart is going to follow God no matter what. And I'm going to make my flesh fall into line. I'm going to make my mind fall into line with my heart. You see? We're turning up the heat. There will be pressure. And this is the place of preparedness. And he's saying mentally and physically, get prepared. Believers, get prepared in your heart and in your mind. This is coming. He said, this is in the near future, as in 
right in front of you. He said, use leadership. You, use leadership in your homes. You know, you're, you're a servant of God, and he has made you a leader in your homes. Men, men, wake up. Wake up. Some of you men need spiritually slapped. You need to wake up. Get off your video games. Get off your video games. Quit playing around with worldly games. It is it's time to put the childish games behind you. And if you don't do it now, unfortunately you're going to be behind the power curve. This is going to test hearts, and this is a place of judgment. Your hearts are going to be tested. I don't care who you are. My heart is going to be tested. I've already been going through some tests, but he's going to test you. This is from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is always testing, checking, and confirming. Receive in your heart understanding that you will be victorious by leaning on the Word of God. You will have victory. And then he says, seeing prophetically, this is you seeing prophetically, me seeing prophetically, however you want to say it. Stay intimate and in the union with God. Stay intimate in, the, in, in union with God. And how do you do that? You worship from your heart. You pray. You speak to God from your heart. Tell him about your troubles. Tell him about all the things you've got going on. Tell him the good things. Just like he's your friend. And read his word. Stay in his word. I'm going to put some scriptures in the description block. Respond to me. Let me know that you're looking at them. Because I, if no one's looking at them, then why should I even do it? And he says, by doing these three things, worship, pray, and reading God's word, you will have victory. And he said, this is a message and there's a desire to make this known that the heart is the place of God's rest. So if your heart is right, your heart with, is your heart in, in sync with God, then you will have rest. You'll, you will, you'll rest in knowing that you're safe. So my message, it's a tough message. Um, you know, the last thing I'll say is, you know, the, the, the part where it says um, those in rebellion will come judgment. They will have lost my protection. They are spiritually unguarded. They are disgraced. They are naked. They are vulnerable. And those in rebellion will be raped. I, I believe that this also means uh, not only uh, maybe physically, but mentally. So you, you'll be raped of all the things that you own. Um, you, you might be raped of your dignity. You might be raped of many things. So uh, I don't understand exactly. I, I know that I felt I felt it meant multiple things. So that's all I got. Jules out. God bless you guys. Stay close to God.